Hi guys, I didn't upload about Roblox Studio for a while, so in today's video I'll show you Roblox type checking and player selection system. If you are new to this channel, I upload tutorials and devlogs. Feel free to like and sub. Okay, so basically type checking is assigning a type to a variable. For example, this is a table of players. If we put semicolon after the variable's name, we can decide the variable's type. This is useful to organize your code, and it makes things clear and easy to understand. Let's make a string type variable. We set a name then semicolon followed by the type. And final equal the value in my case I put sir y as the value. Here is another integer value. I think you guys got the idea make sure you use it. Functions can also have a return type. This function will return a random player. This is useful to select a monster for a chasing game. As we can see we put a semicolon, then the function's return type. The chosen player we are selecting a random player. As you can see the return type is a player. This is helpful to access its properties easily. The next function is for teleporting the player. As we can see the parameter is a base part type. It only accepts a base part type of variables. And then we teleport our player by changing his C frame. The next lines of codes we are making variables for the player and then we called the teleport function this is simply a player selection system as we can see on the output the player has been teleported successfully so as a conclusion type checking is very helpful it makes coding easier and clearer now feel free to like and sub enjoy your day